Hey YouTube, my dog is 99 here. It's up. Um, here's my light sworn deck profile for this format. Um, it's almost complete, but here it is. Feel free to give me any suggestions about what should I, how should I run it. Now here's the first thing you need to know. You need to run free JDs. The boss monster of the deck. You pay a thousand, blows up the field. Really good card. Two Celestia. Good card in any deck. Mill four cards, blows up two cards in your opponent's field. It's really good. True Wolf, very good card. You draw a Foolish Barrel if you go second. You use Foolish, get Wolf. After you clear the field with like Heavy Storm or something like that, then true for a Celestia, take an early advantage. It's a really good card. Lumina, Zombie Master of the deck, discard a card, but you're like your Wolf, your Aaron, your Lila, which I don't run yet. Jane, not Jane and all that. Really good card. True right go, one's German. Um. Just, this is good to get him a charge and all that. You mill free, blow up a card. It's really good. Aaron re returns Dark Souls. It returns a lot of other things. It's really good. Two Jane. Um, good beatdown stick. Gains 300 when it attacks a monster. It's 21. It's a really good card. Garoff. When you act, when you have an effect that requires milling from your deck. From a light sworn, you mill two cards, then for each light sworn, mill by that effect, and this one you might, I think you draw a card per one. Good card, 1850. Arcus protects my light sworn from a card effects. Good defense. Honest, really good card. Necro Gardna. Another Necro Gardna, two of them actually. You could dump this with Foolish, you could dump this like light sworn effect. It'd be cool if you dump two with charge or something like that. It gives you a good advantage. Now, this is the reason why I don't have Lila's yet. Two Breakers. I'm going to wait for that Structure Deck to come out. Because they're coming out as commons and it's only 10 bucks. I can get two Structure Decks for 20 bucks. And it's better than buying fucking two fucking Lila's for 50 or $67 on Amazon. It's cheap. For like 16 seven, It's like $26, $27 cheaper. Or $37. It's really good. This is a good card though. It's good something to protect this Magician or Arcanite. It's really good. You get a counter. Then you can pot the blow up a card. Pretty good card. For now. Plague, Tuner, you, you single over level 4, you can bring out a Brio, you can do a lot of things with this card, it's really good. Same glow bulb, you single two level 4 monsters in this, get a Mia Trisha Mistworm, really good. Phantom, remove a Judgment Dragon, or a Plague or something like that, you get the effect of the card, it's really amazing. JD, you remove one of the JDs, you pay a foul, it's really good, it's still a really good card, but you, don't, you, don't, you can't put battle damage with this card, sadly, but it's really good. And it's good for Synchro and 2. Black Luster on the way to begin in. Remove one light, one dark, and it, and you pretty much get a good, it's a good advantage. Like, remove car, or one of your monsters from your opponent's graveyard, and if this kills another monster by battle, you kill attack again. It's really amazing. Now for the spells, charge, milling requirements. You can get a Raiko, a Jane, Aaron, Lumina, you name it. Two Solars, I'm running... I'm running two for now because free is a dead draw. You discard like a dead wolf or something like that. You draw two, mill two. It's good if you mill like an Echo Garner or another wolf or a Glope Bub. It's really good. Foolish, dump a wolf. You can go to like a Celestia or something like that. You can dump like an Echo Garner or a Plague if you want. It's up to you. It gives you a lot of options. Staples, Heavy Storm, blows up back rows, Pot of Arrows, Recycling, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn. Like I said, feel free to tell me what I, what I should run. I'm open to almost all suggestions within reason. Traps, two beckoning light. Discard card, bring back some of your light monsters. It's a really good card. You discard all your cards in your hand, bring back a certain number of light monsters equal to the number of hands you discard. Like, discard free cards, you could bring back like a free JDs. It's really good, it gives you a lot of options. Honest, Celestia, you name it. Now for the traps, the Solemn Brigade. Just let me know how many traps I should run in this deck. Just let me know and I'll get back to you. The gate stuff, 2D prison, get rid of a lot of stuff I don't like. Uh, Mirror Force, let me know if I should take this out. I might take this out along with another card for like two dualities or something. I don't know yet. Let me know what I should do. And install that road. Protects my cards from Dark Hole, Torrental, Black Rose, and gets me a Stardust. Now I'm going to show you the extra deck for Camaratech. Good for Kamakuris. And I have two Cyber Dragons in the side deck. Catastor, Hyper Librarian, Brianak, OTK Method, Orient, gets rid of my Pawn syn Synchros, Black Rose nukes the field. Guy Knight, really good card. Black, two Stardust, really good card in any deck. 
I might take this out for, for a Zin Maze or something like that. Let me know what I should do. Scrap Dragon. Blows up a card. And you blow up one of your opponent's cards. Mist Worm. Returns three cards from your, to, from your opponent's field to their hands. Colossal Fighter. Good if you're going against Elemental Heroes or something. Warrior decks. Trishula. Staple. Remove a card from your opponent's graveyard. Field. And one, and one at their hands at random. Really good. And two exceeds. Leviathan. And Utopia. And the side deck. Two Cyber Dragons, good for Command to Fortress, and it's good against Alpha and Gadget or Kama Curries. Two Factory Heroes, good against Wind Ups, Plants, Rescue Rabbit, you get the gist. Two Kaikus, protects my cards from being removed, and removes two monsters from your opponent's graveyard. DD Crow, removes a card. Book of Moon, two MSTs. Shadow and Prison Mirror, I might take out the Book of Moon for no Shadow and Prison Mirrors. Two Bombless, against Staple Decks. Black Horn of Heaven and Royal Prison. Good against any most any deck out there right now. So yeah, that's my Light Swan deck, guys. Feel free to give me a suggestion what I should run. And I'll get back to you on that. So yeah, please enjoy this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. So yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out, YouTube.